use their three-point specialist. You have to give him a lot of attention. You have to tag him. You can't let him get his feet set. If he catches and shoots that open, he's going to knock down a high percentage. Nate Cranford averages 41% from beyond the arc and 9.8 points per game. Chattanooga battle on the boards, won by Goats up and in the first basket of the game. For us. Slasher, Demetrius Scott, a great rebound by Dopes. He got position on the other end and performed well with his stick back. But then they didn't pick up quick, and Demetrius Scott drove it to the basket. The putout stayed up 5-2. Bound did a great job of double teaming the dribble penetration by Chattanooga. They came up with the steal, and Scott twice in a row now, Tom, has gone to the basket in transition. First he made the lay in, now he's going to the foul line for two shots. Coach Fancher calls him the unsung hero. He scores 9.8 points a game, he shoots well from the foul line, he rebounds, and he's their best defensive player. Demetrius Scott. The 6'2 senior from Edgewater High School in Orlando, Florida. And he shoots 77% from the free throw line, makes them both, and now has four points for App State. The foul was called against Khalil Hartwell, who's first of the game. App State doing some double teaming in the backcourt, but Chattanooga handles it well. Now goes into their half court man to man offense. This is Mays. Jokes. Casey Long, nine seconds to go on the shot clock. Long with the drive against Thompson, he gets cut off. Hood for three, and he knocks it down. Ricky Hood, first points of the game for Hood. Long inside, double team. Good double team by Chattanooga, but they reverse the ball well. That's it. It goes from Scott. And the extra pass to Jeremy Clayton on the baseline, he got hacked for two. But there's a double team in the low post. Well, there's the nice three by Ricky Hood for Chattanooga. On the double team into the low post, there's then a four and three advantage with other players offensively. If you can kick it out and make the one or second extra pass, you're usually going to find something real good on the weak side. That time, he went to Jeremy Clayton, and he powered it in for two foul shots from the strike. Hartwell will have to sit down because he just committed his second foul trying to block the shot from Jeremy Clayton, who has a second free throw upcoming. Bernard Lowndes comes in for Hartwell. Clayton makes them both. 56% free throw shooter, solid from the line in his first two attempts. App State looks like they're going to try to wear Chattanooga down. App State plays 9 or 10 deep. They don't lose anything when Coach Fancy goes to the bench. So they're pressuring a lot. Double teaming some in the backcourt. Bays with a great dish to Dokes for two. Beautiful penetration. And he never lost sight of Dokes on the weak side for the lay-in. Mays can shoot the outside shot, but he can also drive it. He's a prolific type scorer. DJ Thompson, deep three, no good. Long rebound to Burke. And Long will bring it up. It's a two-point lead for App State on its home floor here at the home center. Mays, a floater on the baseline, and he gets it to go. They closed out, they took away the three-point shot, and alertly, when he was played that tightly, put it on the floor with his left hand and pulled up on the baseline. Mays, the leading scorer for Chattanooga, averages almost 15 points a game. Thompson on long. Layup is off the mark. Bound can't get the put back, and long corrals the rebound. Chattanooga looking to take the lead. We're tied at nine. Mays for three. A little bit strong. The rebound to Cranford. Mays is going to keep taking those three-point shots, though. 
He shoots over 44% from behind the arc. He's a great scorer. Bound. Looking for Click. Good block shot by Bernard Lowndes. DJ Thompson for three. That's his 247-3. He's first all-time in App State in making threes, and he's 10th all-time in the Southern Conference. DJ Thompson, he's a great assist man. He's number one in steals, like that one, and he also hits the three. Thompson with the layup. Five points for DJ Thompson, 2.6 steals. He is first in the conference in that category per game. And Thompson gives App State the five-point lead. Here comes Hood. Long looking over to Coach Schulman for the instruction. Dokes, jump shot. Rebound is Thompson. Authoritatively, round it up. Around the screen and bound. Looking to get to the glass. Very difficult shot. Altered and taken by Dokes. Good team defense by Chattanooga. That big guys came over and got a piece of the shot by DJ Thompson. Chattanooga has not gone inside to the big men yet, except on some penetration. Mays, three-pointer, no good. And the board controlled by Thompson. Set there, an answer man offense. Coach Fancher calls a play. DJ Thompson also from the SoCon and assist with 5.3 per game. Appears to be getting a breather over there on the side. Now swings it around. This is Scott. And he traveled with the ball. We'll take a timeout with 13-23 to go in the first half. App State with a five-point lead. Get it out of here. We're coming back on CSS right after this.